reputation for dedication and her ability to deliver results is monumental in social media and sales and marketing. She serves as a role model for African American women in business and leadership, consistently exuding confidence and respect in her endeavors. She exhibits her commitment to giving back by working on the board of nonprofit organizations, fundraising, and volunteering with 501 3C corporations geared towards helping inner city youth, battered women, and breast cancer awareness. Her education, experience, and passion place her among the vanguard for the positive progression of Atlanta's business and community. So please help me introduce Tara Williams. truly believe in it, 
I can articulate that, and through my excitement, people are just gonna go for it, pretty much, because I'm being real and I'm being honest. So that was always the key to my success in any type of sales endeavor that I did. Now, once I had children, and I wanted to stay at home with my kids, because I was kind of like, you know, I don't have family here, um, and I just wanna be around to rear my, my kids and enjoy it. So I stayed home, and I worked with a company, a technology company, and they let me, because I sold so much, this is the other thing, people, because if, if anybody knows, me, well, you guys will after this. I'm so unconventional, I'm a little bit thingy, but it works for me. Um, and so, when I was working with a company, everyone says, oh, technology companies, they're so structured, you're not gonna be able to work from home. So I went in there and I said, look, I have my son, I wanna be able to work from home, I'll come in two days a week, and this is what I wanna do. Either it's this or I'm gonna leave. And what did they say? Sure, whatever you wanna do, Tara, why? Because my numbers were so good. So when you're invaluable to that company, you don't have to walk that straight line that everybody else walks. You can really set your own self. You just have to be willing to open up your mouth. Closed mouths don't get big. You have to be willing to open up your mouth and say exactly what it is that you wanted. But in any event, with the sales thing, that just comes to me by nature. And the marketing, that was something that my dad used to own car dealerships. So his sales, he used to have people waiting, 20 people sometimes, all day, just to see him. And there's car dealerships everywhere. There's salespeople everywhere. But there was no him. They called him Big Blue. I'm little. <laughs> uh, and so with the world of social media, it helped me to be able to take off with me making money doing all that I love. First of all, y'all can tell I love to talk. Mm -hmm. And I love to smile. <laughs> and guess what? Those are things on social media that help draw me business. Um, my personal brand, who is Tara? Tara who? I created that like about 10 years ago because you know what, to be honest, I don't even know who Tara is. I'm so many different people for so many different things. And that's one of the qualities, my zaniness, and probably my, I say juggle balls, is one of the things that make me unique that draw me a whole lot of business. Um, but for using social media, what that did was, it actually put me in a position to be in front of a platform of people all over the world that would be drawn to me for whatever reason. You could be drawn to me because I have a horn. You could be drawn to me because I love shoes. You can be drawn to me because I am a teen mom with my kids. But guess what? All of those reasons that brought you to me on social media then makes you say, oh, well, I really like her as a person. Now after that, if you have displayed what you do, what your skills are, what your business is, that then automatically transcends to them wanting to do business with you. I'll give you three examples. Um, I've got, um, I had a client from Mumbai, India. And I had no idea that this man, after I after he contacted me, I didn't realize that he had been literally liking like every page that I have on Facebook, social media. And I probably have 5,000 pictures on, on social media. I belong to 75 different social media networks. Um, and so after, after he contacted me, I looked up like, okay, well he was like a lightweight stalker, I didn't realize. But actually it wasn't that, he said that was his way of connecting with me because he was from Mumbai, but he owned a technology company, one office here that he had in Atlanta. He was a graduate of Georgia Tech. And he's like, you know what? I want you to handle all of my stuff. And so I thought that was really interesting. So I asked him, I said, why? And he was like, you know, I just love the fact that you just love it. I just watch you over here, you're over there, you're with your kids, you're with your mom. And that landed to be like a really good contract for me. Um, so for me with social media, when people talk about the negativity of social media, and I think a lady had asked a question at the last session, she said, well, I have a personal page and I have a business page. Mm -hmm. And I'm really unconventional people, so everybody has their own perspective. I just know what works for me and what has worked for a lot of the clients that I have. I am an open world. Some people are private, and if you are, that's cool. But my thing for me is being transparent and being someone who just lays out there on the line. I really don't care if people judge me for my personal page, my business page, if they care about my thoughts, if they care about if I had a weave on today or not had a weave on tomorrow or you know, getting a facial, whatever the case is, I'm just who I am all the time, 24 seven. And that has actually fared extremely well for me in business because the people that connect with me through social media, from whether it's a personal standpoint or whether it's from a business standpoint, they don't have any judgments, and I don't have any judgments. So they're the people that I really want to be around. I really don't want to have to have clients or people that I'm doing business with 
but I have it in my life. That's just my choice because I'm an entrepreneur, so I can choose to have any clients that I want, just like you guys can choose whoever it is that you want to work with. That's why being an entrepreneur is an extremely powerful position to be able to be in because you can choose the money that you want. And that doesn't affect you not getting enough money. You actually get more money, surprisingly enough, and it's not money that you gotta chase. I swear the money just kind of comes to you. It's almost like this aura of a cloud that just brings you people. I don't call clients. Clients call me. There's never a time where I sit there and I say, oh, I wish I had a client to talk to. I wish I had a new client. I wish I had a new referral. I wish I had, I never feel that way. And it's nothing, well, I am special. I feel special. But I mean, everybody in the room is special. And that's another reason why um, I know that there is a great success to what it is that I do because I really love myself. I believe in myself. I believe and I know what it is that I can do. I'm my best cheerleader. I don't care if anybody else thinks that what I'm saying means anything. I promise you, it will not deter me from thinking that and it always pans out. And numbers don't lie, right? So if 98.99.9% of the time it wins for me, I'll be darned if anybody, I don't care how much education they have, I don't care how much money they have, it's not gonna deter me from doing what it is that I need to do. And that's what everybody in the room needs to realize. If you've got an idea, if you've got a passion, if you've got, I don't care who says what, stay focused on that, unwavering in that. And it doesn't mean it's gonna happen overnight, but when it's time to happen, it's gonna happen. You just cannot lose that energy. Um, for me, and I was speaking with the lady in the room here, energy is something that's so important. That's why I love this color. That orange makes you feel good. Like I keep looking in the room, and I do this anyway. And it's not even caffeine. Like this is how I But I'm really just happy. I'm happy to be here with you guys. I'm happy to be in front of you guys speaking. I'm happy to be talking about positivity and things that can help somebody else. Because I don't have all the answers. I don't have nobody's answers in here to fix whatever it is that you guys want to do. The only thing that I can do is give you a different perspective for you to and allow your minds to be opened up, for you to unlock your the secret that you needed to fill your gap. Do you know what I'm saying? Because everybody here, or most people here by raise of hands, who's either an entrepreneur currently or wants to be an entrepreneur. Um, everyone else, are you currently in corporate jobs or non -profit? Okay, well that's still, yeah, I mean that's amazing because you need to raise money, right? Social media got money, y'all, so that's another thing that we can lend on. But the main thing while we're here is we need to use the social media, which is free people, free, to be able to get money. People talk about social media so much in a, in a negative way, but they don't leverage to make money with it. I promise you, my 14 year old has listened to the he doesn't even listen to me a lot, but he has listened to <laughs> enough that social media is working for him. He has his own brand. The little boy, I mean, I really wasn't even thinking that he was paying that much attention to what I was doing, but he really has. He's created his own following, his own network, and he clears, I would say, at least $2,000 a month wow. doing what he wow. enjoys wow. to know that you know that 
so that you are going to be just like me. But if you're in a room all by yourself, I swear I can talk to myself all by myself <laughs> and come up with ideas and be so excited and leave the room as if I had been with a life coach. And I'm saving a whole lot of money on my own personal life coach. <laughs> Um, so finding out what it is that you love to do is first and foremost. Um, some of the ones that are one of the entrepreneurs, what uh, line of business do you want to go into? College and career planning. College and career planning, okay. Um, anybody else? Uh, publishing, right. Publishing, okay, publishing and writing. Okay, so when you are on social media, these are the ones that I utilize, and a lot of people don't ever mention this one, um, LinkedIn is a professional Facebook, oh, yeah. right? Okay. I've gotten clients from Mumbai, India. I've gotten, um, I had Creflo uh, Dollar and Taffy Dollar, um, uh, Walmart. When I tell you LinkedIn can bring you so much money, it's absolutely crazy. Like seriously, just off of that one particular social media platform that people have no idea how powerful it is that people really never talk about. It's always Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that. That's cool, but I have, Twitter, I've got money from too, but I've never got any money from Facebook um, or Instagram. <laughs> you know, I've got a few stalkers and a few a few friends. <laughs> that's all that I've had. And that's not to say it doesn't work, but there's some that have been overlooked, and those are the ones that I'm going to focus on. Uh, with LinkedIn, um, it sounds like you have to do more than just post your resume, because I think just looking at LinkedIn, that's all I see it as. So how do you? show you first of all who is Tara William is my LinkedIn profile so if you want to go on there I tell everybody look at mine and if you pattern yourself after that you'd be surprised I probably get about 6,500 hits a week to my LinkedIn page and it's for all kinds of people but activity is what breeds success right so when she mentioned LinkedIn LinkedIn is your profile, okay? So it's your calling card to what it is that you do. And if you evaluate each one of the sections on LinkedIn, of course you've got your picture. Now I change my picture, okay? Because guess what, every time you change your picture, that means you come up in their feed, right? Okay. okay. And so, and I'm not always so traditional, because sometimes I might be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, but however I'm filmed, I'm gonna change my picture. We love your picture. So thank you. <laughs> so some people say, that's not professional enough. Well, guess what? I'm my own boss. I'm an entrepreneur. Even when I worked in corporate America, I still didn't confine to what they told me to do because that's just not what I did. They told me to show up um, conservatively and I had on a full leopard dress. So my mom says to me, well, is that so? Well, this is my, my version of conservative. <laughs> so uh, I do change my picture up and I just like to have fun with it. But when you go on LinkedIn, you know, you put your title all of your complete information. You put all of your skills out there. And then, just like with the use of social media and hashtags and so forth, you know, some people got hashtags for, you know, leak and all this kind of stuff. And that means nothing to me. My hashtags are always gonna be relevant to what it is that I do. So whether it's social media, whether it's marketing, whether it's entrepreneurs, whether it's you know, entertainment, your hashtags are specific. And my hashtag who is terror, of course, because we all need to be using that. Um, so you're utilizing whatever hashtags that are going to enable you to draw attention to what you're looking for, because this is a way for you to have people to find you. So if, like I said, once y'all go and look on my, it looks like it's insanity. And people will always tell me like, why does your page look like that? It's so much stuff all over your page. Are you getting 6,500 views <laughs> on your page? Like how much business, corporate business have you gotten from yours? It's a reason to why I did it. Because LinkedIn is so amazing, you can trick that system so that you come up more frequently in front of other people that think that they're, you know, on top of the hill, like they, you know, the baddest thing smoking, and then they hear you come along because it's how your profile is done. So definitely go to that LinkedIn profile, look at it, and you know, all my information is there. I love to talk, and I pretty much I have clients all around the world, so I really very rarely sleep. So when you think most people are sleeping, I'm up. You can always call me get on social media or do whatever and we can talk about your ideas because I gain energy from talking to other people about their ideas I thirst for energy and I love inspiration and so talking with other people that have that um, interest or passion to do something it helps to exhilarate me too so I'm thankful for people when they do contact me um, and, William? yes um, yeah um, I just searching for jobs or anything like that. You could probably follow people on here too. You could just 
Oh yeah, no, that's an amazing point. Yeah. And that's what's great about social media across the board, regardless of what platform you're using. Um, if you're using LinkedIn, if you're using Twitter. I mean, and really, like I said, those are the two that I love the most. And I will tell you why Twitter. Twitter is one where, and I call it social media stalking, but it's for good reason. You know, don't take this out of context. Mm -hmm. uh, but I search out clients sometimes, or I search out exposure to certain brands. And then after you are searching them out through social media, They'll start following you. I never follow them back. <laughs> because you want to have more people following you than you have followed than you are following, mm -hmm. always. Keep that ratio probably about 50 or 60%. Yeah. And it holds a whole lot more credibility when, you know, there's a huge CEO or executive of a Fortune 500 company that's following you and liking your posts and things of that nature, but you're not following them. You know what I'm saying? Um, so on Twitter, there's so many different situations where I will find a client or a brand and I will pull up their, uh, their Twitter page and then I might at message them in one of my messages. But of course it's always about me, right? Because whatever y'all do, just never forget it's all about you. Whether you work in corporate America, whether you are your entrepreneur, whether you're trying to start a business or whatever the case may be, or even if you're working for a nonprofit, it's still about you. <laughs> because you're the one that's going to help whatever else <coughs> succeed. See, with dealing with a nonprofit organization like she just spoke of, her following will give to an organization <coughs> that they know nothing about or even probably care to look up just because they want to give because of her. So that's the power and the strength that you have to develop because that way you always remain in control and you always have the power. You have the power when people talk about getting laid off. How can you get laid off from your own brand? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you are the boss and the brand and you have established yourself, nobody can ever lay you off because you won't make money regardless. You are the one making the money. I have worked at AT&T um, for probably about a year or two, something like that. And they had a new division that came up because they weren't following, y'all remember the yellow paper? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they said, you know what? We have to get out the stone ages and now we want to do online marketing and we want social media. And so we're gonna create this regime of people to come in and sell all this stuff. So I said, well, great, this is a great idea. I started working with them six months, even with the constraints of corporate America. I mean, probably like 500 and some thousand dollars. And they all said, how did you do that? Can you train these people? Can you do this, that, and the other? Because corporate America sales 101 said, go out and go door to door and carry your little bags around and, you know, talk to one person. My feet hurt. I mean, I don't, it's too much going on. <laughs> like, I got too much makeup on, too much weed. It's happening. I'd be bad if I'm going to drag around this bag. I, was, I went on social media. I was sitting in air conditioning with my feet up. I might go to Starbucks. Um, I used to go to East Atlanta. There's a lady that's got a little cafe shop out there. So I used to go sit in there. And I would get on social media talking about the products that I had. And people would be calling me. And I said, okay, well, I'm going to email you the app and go ahead and fill it out. And, so I'm doing like 50, 60 customers a day because I don't have to drop all that other money. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why in sales, if anything that you do, the internet is exactly the place that you're supposed to be. And that was all from social media. Sales 101, um, you have to sell regardless of what it is that you're gonna do. Because in your business, you've gotta get clients, so you've gotta sell your services, right? You've gotta sell your nonprofit organization, you have to sell the benefits and, and the reason why, you know, the importance and the, you know, and all of those things. So all of those things are basically in essence selling, if you will. But really more than anything, social media allows you to put your information in a spotlight to introduce people to what it is that you're doing and you can make money from it. Um, if you have your own personal brand, right, which as I think it was Tanisha that just spoke about, we all have our own brand. And I believe that everybody should make one. Yes. Some, something else. Yes, you can use management tools. Um, definitely, I do use Hootsuite um, because you can put in one image and you can therefore put them out on a bunch of different social networks. But I say just start one place first and get your feet wet. And I would say that's LinkedIn, okay? 
Because LinkedIn is going to bring you corporate money. It's going to help you if you've got a nonprofit. It's going to help you if you have a for profit. It's going to help you if you're in a corporate job or even if you're an entrepreneur. It's going to help you to elevate your brand. And now, after today, it's you deciding what is your brand and what do you want to put in the forefront to make money with. Okay? And then once you have done that, that's what you showcase on social media. And now that you've met me, who is Tara? I'm on all social media networks. And I'm always up and I'm always posting and I will always contact you back if you contact me. But you gotta make the first step. No question is too little, no, uh, no time is too late. That's how I talk about it. Because if your idea is that passionate, I will get out of bed and wanna talk about it with you because we're about to make this thing happen. You know what I'm saying? The spirit or something, the universe must have woke you up for us to have that connection. So please make sure that you guys follow me on social media. Contact me, I definitely mean that because a lot of people say that and I swear I do. Um, I want to be able to help each one of you find and you know figure out what your brand is and let's get some money ladies and power each other um, that's the main thing and also we need to inspire each other and associate with like-minded individuals to energize each other not to tear each other down so it's just like plugging in your iPhone we all need a charge sometimes so in this room the connections that we're making anytime you need to plug into me I'm ready and guess what if I need to plug into y'all I'm gonna do the same